Hey everybody, um, I wanted to post some really brief videos about each iLearn day coming up for the next um, 10 days and I hope they help you and if not let me know and we'll, we'll change tactics. Um, but for today, I'm going to talk to you about oxymorons and we've, we've discussed it briefly in class. Um, but really what an oxymoron is are just two opposite things, right? Two opposites that have been put together either to create a humorous effect, to prove a point, or in some cases it's just the nature of the word or the phrase. They happen to be a combination of um, opposites, and we're going to look at a couple of those. Um, earlier today I got a message um, from one of you asking about your assignment for day 11. First of all, if you're working ahead, good for you. That way you're not going to get overwhelmed and have a whole bunch pile up on you at once. That being said, the question was for the phrase um, feather of lead. Now, I did say in my instructions that an oxymoron could only have two words, right? But when it comes to words like of, okay, of, and, a, the, you can kind of ignore those for the most part um, because feather and lead are kind of the words that you're focusing on. So for this particular instance, feather of lead is an oxymoron. It is, even with the of in there. Um, and if you see any others like that with any of these words, whoops, with any of those words that I accidentally just erased, um, you can you can use it. So any of these will count, okay? So let's look at why oxymorons are important. Um, because it feels like one of those things, kind of like onomatopoeia, that we learn for the sake of English and then we forget about. But they're important because they allow us to be creative in our descriptions. I mean, we're going to look at some here in a minute that if you didn't have that oxymoron, it wouldn't be quite as impactful. Um, and in your writing, whether it's creative writing or academic writing, using oxymorons can sometimes kind of um, enhance your point a little bit more than not using one. Whoops. So, here are some awfully good examples of oxymorons. Now, the phrase itself, awfully good, is an oxymoron, which is why they did that, which I think is kind of fun. Um, we've said that for, oh, that's awfully good. That's awfully good. Or um, something like, that's so good it's stupid, which is not an oxymoron, but you get the idea. If you have good and bad, good and awful in this same sentence, and they, it just, it's an oxymoron that shows that it's very good. Um, another fun example is old news. News, by the very nature of what it is, is new, right? It's never old. Um, however, if you're talking about something that happened yesterday or a week ago or a year ago, it becomes old news. It's no longer news because news implies that it is new, um, but it's but it's still news. It's just old information. My favorite one, bittersweet chocolate, and you don't have to have the chocolate part of it. I added that, but bittersweet. Um, first of all, this is the best kind of chocolate. If you don't like bittersweet chocolate, you're really missing out, but just the nature of what it is. Chocolate is inherently sweet, um, but this is a little bit more bitter than usual, and so it becomes an oxymoron. Um, another one that you all might like or might recognize, plastic silverware. What is the key word in this second part? Silver. So silverware is silver, right? That's what we use. It's metal. Um, plastic silverware is not actually silverware. It's plastic eating utensils. But we call it silverware because that's just kind of what the term has become. So it becomes an oxymoron. Jumbo shrimp. So shrimp is inherently small. Jumbo means big. So jumbo shrimp is big, small. Um, paper towel. Towels are made out of cloth. Paper is not cloth. Oxymoron. 
um, a, a negative income. So an income implies that your money is going up. Negative implies that it's going down. So you have opposites. And then a working vacation. I feel like a lot of people think that um, this period of quarantine, this period of being out of school and working from home and doing iLearns is a, is a vacation. But we all know, students and teachers know, that we are working, right? So it's a vacation and that we're not in our normal routine, but we are working. So it, that's how it becomes an oxymoron. A few more examples. I'm pretty sure I've said this one in class before. You have one choice. Well, choice implies multiple, right? This implies many. And one implies one. So if, if I give you one choice, I'm not really giving you a choice, but it sounds better than saying I'm telling you what to do, right? Um, organized mess. Just think of... Um, my desk at school. Is it a mess? Yes. Do I know where everything is? Is it organized for me? Yes. So you really can't have a mess that is organized, but it can appear to be a mess. And my desk really isn't organized. You guys know that. I can never find anything. Um, ocean shore. So this one, it might be a little bit harder to understand because everyone knows what an ocean shore is, right? Well, think of it this way. An ocean is water, and then the shore is the beach. But they are separate. They are not the same things. So here we have um, item number one and item number two. Now, replace shore with dirt and ocean with tree. Those are also two things that are side by side. So tree dirt. It's the dirt next to the tree, but it's not the same thing, which is why ocean shore is also an oxymoron because you have two separate things that are next to each other but don't belong together. Um, one that maybe you guys may not get because you've never enjoyed and experienced the joys of, of real licorice. It's delicious, by the way. It's old people candy, but it's delicious. Is red licorice. So think like Twizzlers. Um... So licorice is inherently black. Licorice itself is not red. It's black. By making red licorice, you're not actually making licorice. You're just making something that looks like licorice that's red. But because it's two opposites, red, licorice means black. So red, black, it's an oxymoron. Let's see. One that I really don't like because I, I hear uh, students say it a lot is pretty ugly. So this one... Ugly is not nice, right? Let's talk about puppies. Some puppies are super ugly. They just are. When we say pretty ugly, pretty implies something positive, but really you're just enhancing the word ugly. So it becomes an oxymoron. Um, let's do one more of these. If you guys can hear that sound, that's my dog. I don't know. Scratching. If you can't hear it well, my dog is scratching and now you know. Um, let's look at student teacher. So we all know what a teacher is, right? This is me. We all know what a student is. That's you guys. Sometimes you'll have a college student come in, um, and they will teach. And in that case, they are teaching. They're in the teacher role, but they're also still a student. So that's how this becomes an oxymoron. It's, it's a thing. It's not like you have two opposites, really. But the phrase itself, um becomes two opposite things. So, oxymorons. You can look at some of these others. Um, serious humor, sunshade, round corner. Um, we're not even going to look at this one because it's not an oxymoron because Harry Potter has proven that magic is real. Right? We all know that. And you can't argue with me, so I'm going to assume you all agree. I'm bad at technology, y'all. Okay, so if you have questions, you can remind text me. If you haven't signed up yet, here's the code. The phone number is 81010. For first period, the code is at honor ENG1A. And fifth period for y'all, it's at honor ENG1B. Um, 
Um, if you have questions, remind text me, email me. Um, I'll be making some phone calls, hopefully tomorrow. I meant to today, but I got caught up in grading, so I'll be making some phone calls. And keep an eye out for um, a Google Meet office hours in which we'll, I'll be there for you guys to pop on and we can video chat. Um, so questions, let me know. If you're working ahead, keep your mind text to me. I'd be happy to answer those questions. And I'll have a video posted in the next day or two um, for day number 12. See you guys later.